All right, welcome back, everybody. Here is set two of our instant match point analysis. Uh, once again, I'm Rob Barrington here with Gavin Wolpert. We've gone through one through 10, and we started off with board 11. This was our suggested auction, Gavin, but we didn't realize uh, how uh, maybe aggressive our panel was with this one. We, we actually set them up uh, with the West Hand. Uh, on this hand, we, we started with a club pass a dime, and we were curious as to whether they would overcall with this hand. We didn't, but uh, I think you'll see that they, they might have had some different ideas. Do you want to add anything before we see this? No, we hear it. It's, it's, it's a great discussion. I, I'm. I, it might be a little bit of this kids don't try this at home kind of moment where, where yeah. the experts are overcalling this hand, and, and, and uh, it might get you into a little bit more trouble. But again, focus on the vulnerability. It's white, white. And it's this a great is a theme for the day. Yep, here it is, folks. Then we just had, we were wondering how degenerate everybody could be on this particular spot when it goes a club past a diamond to you. I think, I can't remember, did we overcall on this hand on the sheet, I Gavin? I can't remember. I don't think we did. I think we said. You go at it match points. I always say you should, should never bid. You know, you don't want to get in there and, like, you know, try and play the hand. Yeah, and th and that's why everyone but Brad decided to do this. Brad, th Brad, is this is this an age thing? Is this from the older generation? You're now the the moderate player who will pass this hand and. Well, jo Joe keeps yelling at me that I'm too aggressive when I'm overcalling, so you know, <laughs> I've decided to put the brakes on. And, I wouldn't have call it imps, maybe. Well, I, my my thinking is that I, I I have you know the queen nine third of hearts. Yeah, my spades are so bad. Sure, I want to compete equal white at match points, but the auction, you know. It's just, if it, it's most like when partner passed the club, it's most likely we're going to be defending on this hand. And I might want partner to lead a spade, but I don't really know. And I don't really want to help them so much on, on, on the hand. So, it, listen, it, it, I have no problem with bidding a spade. And if you gave me the 10 of spades, I would, I would say it's automatic. Sure. Sure. And we, we discussed this as kind of like, we, we weren't sure what the modern method, the modern, you know, expert player was going to be thinking here at these colors in this spot, but well, kind of happy to see that's pretty aggressive here. We're we're always preaching that that in order to overcall at the one level, you need one of three things. You either need a good suit, or you need a good hand, or you need good distribution. And it's hard <laughs> to say that this hand qualifies for any of those three things. Oh, but no, I, but I had a feeling that you guys would overcall anyway. But it, it, that's why. I, yeah, sorry. What do you I, say, Grant? I just think the idea that it is equal white at match points and your past hand, so you've already limited your hand now. It may, it's a double-edged sword, right? Because if they end up declaring, they know you got like eight to ten points and five spades. You yeah. know, yeah. so that's what Brad is saying with his pass. It's kind of like better. yeah, par par partner partner can easily just have clubs in a decent hand. I mean, if they have a good hand, they'll bid. But if they just have like an opening hand with four clubs, like that, like this, that's like totally in their range. And like we just kind of want to play the hand in one no or two spades or something. And if well, they're about to play the hand in no trump, um, then you know, I I I don't need partner to lead a spade but i really really like him to you know i hope i'm not it could be just like terrible with you know partner like throwing the jack of spades out there um you know without the 10 and sort of having that but uh you know obviously if partner's like four four in the majors i want him to guess right you know yeah and uh, four four in the majors there's also there's a decent chance they might have a takeout double of one no i mean it's not impossible no, but that, that, that and even more so if partner is four four in the majors that double of one club that they, they didn't double one club. club yeah, yeah no, they, I, probably, they probably would have double one club yeah. they're about to jump to three no two no three no yes. or maybe exactly. just all pass with this out hand having some values you know I think if they're bidding two no every time, you probably would rather pass. If they're if they have a one no rebid, you definitely want to bid because you want to play the hand instead of them. That's that's really. I mean, if they're bidding two no, I still most of the time want to spade lead at imps yeah. at points. It's not so you know because I might not. That's, be... a, that's a good point, Grant. Yeah. All right, uh, so we're, we'll have some. We'll have a, a nice line to draw later when we have a two-level overcall that is a lot different of a situation with a much better hand. So we'll look into that in a few moments, but let's uh, keep going. And what a good discussion there uh, for that board. And we are back for board number 12, Gavin. And this one seems pretty straightforward for us. The, the question is, will North bid three spades or will they go more deliberately here? We, we both kind of thought this was a good preemptive bid here, especially with King Queen tied to diamonds. 
it's just so difficult to deal with preempts. It's so hard when you're the East hand, if you, if, if this hand East didn't have a problem, but sure. sometimes East is going to have 10, 11 points and just not, no stopper or even with the spade stopper, they're going to have to bite the bullet and make an absolute decision over three spades. It's it's, this is being a tough opponent. Now, Very if good. you looked at this North end and said, I count my losers, I'm going to lose two clubs and I'm going to lose two hearts is four and a diamond is five and the ace of spades is six and maybe another spade. <laughs> I I can see you talking yourself down and being, well, maybe two spades is better. But I, I actually, I, I would just rule out two spades. I would either be overcalling this hand three spades and just biting the bullet and going with it and hoping I don't go three down vulnerable or bid one spade and actually make an effort to get to game. Because two spades, we're too strong for two spades in every, that seventh spade yeah. is just Partners never we're ne we're gonna miss games. And we're at sometime. the very we're at the very top end of our range as well. So so we might as well, you know, give it the full pull if we're gonna go the preemptive route. Um and, and that's where this auction should end. Nobody should be stepping back into this, even though you West can, hates passing. Yeah, yeah, you can easily see West falling in love with their hand, but yeah. you have to understand that you're committing all by yourself to the four level. It just easily can be can be wrong. On this hand, uh, you might have actually survived in by because in four hearts, because you're only gonna lose diamonds holding. Yeah, you buy a heart fit, you buy that ace ten of diamonds and and and, and entries. King, and queen just the, the king queen of diamonds is on on the board, so you, you uh, yeah. on side rather. You're so you're I guess you have really also. four hearts. You're you're going to go down only one. You're going to lose a spade. You're going to lose the ace of hearts. You're going to lose the king of diamonds, and you're close to making it if the defense really if they don't get both of their blacks winners set up. You might actually even make four hearts. Uh, but north south, if they're in three spades, it's it's a pretty easy make for them too. They're going to lose the ace of spades, a heart a diamond and a club. So three spades is going to make playing. easily. So, yeah. so West, if you did bid four hearts, it's going to be a winner no matter Good what, sack. because you're going to go <laughs> minus 50 into the 140, or even if they double you, it's going to go a hundred, you're going to go a hundred into 140. So yeah. Or if they hard to defend, know. you might even make that thing. I mean, if they don't get their tricks, yeah, okay, let's dance. Okay. So we gave boards 13 and 14 to our panel. And we have number 13 for us. And uh, won't give you too much of this. So number 13, it was, it was, what do we do after a spade, a no trump, two clubs? And this was interesting. I thought more would bid two spades. Well, but... You said one no is non-forcing though, right? Correct. We, we, said, we, we said one no is semi-forcing. Yep. So, I mean, yeah. I would yeah, bid two I... spades at imps, you know? Interesting. Like at imps. Well, because we it, could it, still have game. It's, so so we suggested two spades as the bid over two clubs. First of all, for anybody that's playing uh, forcing no trump, two spades is automatic because your partner yep. could uh, will often have three clubs. And so if you're going to play a seven card fit, you'd much rather play in spades for sure. Uh, so it's only when one no trump is not forcing and two clubs promises four that we that that there becomes this issue of should we bid again anyway. And what you just said, Joe, about about needing to keep the auction hoping to keep the auction alive for when you have game two clubs when when you don't when east doesn't jump shift to three clubs all they've done is limit their end to 18 they could still have up to 18 points so when you we have eight eight counts like this you really want to keep the bidding alive and it, and it imps they're just to, to for the audience the big difference between imps and match points is that imps there's a huge premium on bidding games you need to get to game if you can make a game so joe's saying he wouldn't consider passing two clubs at imps because he knows that he needs to keep the auction alive for a potential game but at match points he's just thinking about uh, where's my best plus score and you see you're thinking two clubs is going to well, produce I, better... I think it's on the bottom end of stretching to bid two spades i, I bid two spades showing values but i mean but like when you pass your clubs, the auction's over, and when you bid two spades, you still might be an okay part score when partner has a bad hand. But if they have like a sixteen count, you could have a, you could have a vulnerable game. And Johnny Hurd's distinction here was if he had a way to show spades an eight to eleven ish or eight eight to something, he would. And if not, he would pass. So apparently, he has that in there. Fun what he showed, by the way. Uh, I don't know. He said he, he if he had yeah, a way to show eight, eight or something. I think he's saying he would show eight to eleven. Yeah, he would show eight to eleven. With... But but I think I think that's the whole I think that's the point of the hand is that when partner has a good hand right their good hand doesn't have to be eighteen their part their good hand could be sixteen so when partner has a good hand and you get to three no trump you're it's 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 likely to be below fifty percent so at match points it's not all that appealing to to do that but vulnerable it is 
you only the game only needs to be 30 percent for it to be a, a a desirable contract which is what you were saying earlier so it, it's it's really about the vulnerability and and this form of scoring because even catering the partner having the the good hand it's still going to be below 50 percent most of the time but you you don't think that two spades on average is going to score as good as two, as well as two clubs will will do you think that you're going to make 110 in your 130 in clubs when you're making only 110 in spades or do you like uh, cuz when i, I uh, my experience with these hands is that we we survive in two spades better than playing in two clubs anyway but, especially but partner hasn't passed two spades yet right if partner might bid again but if yeah the 140s right. you're actually going minus 100 or something like that Although Brad, you make three no like eighty percent of the time. The <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're confusing me with uh, your partner, Vin, uh, Vin Diesel. <laughs> I think having two little spades is different than if you had like queen of one spade and king third of hearts. Like yes. it's much more, much more appealing to match points to try and get to two spades. All right. I pass. All right, one club to you. Pass a club to you on board fourteen, gentlemen. Uh, you're sitting west. And this is your choice, and we can show you uh, everybody doubled exactly. except Johnny Crat. Johnny passed. Uh, Certainly, you know, you get in early, get out. It's probably the right bid. All right, th this is just you, you. You don't need, you know, the perfect shape every time to double, uh, essentially, is what we're kind of looking at on this one, folks. Not too much of a choice from the partner of the person that just made the double, unless you're Cran, you passed. But... If it goes one club, double two clubs, what are you doing with this one? And I think all of you also did the same thing, I believe. Yeah, almost all. We, we bid two hearts, and I think all of you were going to bid two hearts and then bid diamonds later if you needed two over three clubs. Um, and, and Brad, you doubled. Any, any thoughts on that here? You just wanted to get Joe to play it, basically? Well, that's always my, my approach uh, in the bidding. But, um, I mean... I mean, obviously, two hearts is a reasonable bid, very reasonable. But if if hypothetically partner had four spades and three hearts, right? I think I would rather play the hand in two spades than two hearts. Sometimes partner bids diamonds. Um, I I just didn't think there was a whole lot of downside. If you you know, I'm not selling out to three clubs. Um, you know, it could go three clubs, pass, pass, and you know. Double That's what I'm worried about. If if I if I double and they and they bid three clubs, that was actually what I thought at the time. Uh, if I double and they bid three clubs, now it goes pass pass. I bid three diamonds, and it's like partner doesn't know. Partner can't bid three hearts now. You know. Well, I mean, I didn't bid two diamonds or three diamonds the first time. Unless yes, four four in the majors, yeah. Unless yes. four four in the majors, yeah. Right, but I agree. That's the downside to doubling. I totally agree. I mean, I do think that with us holding only one club. I mean, especially like I know partner can't have say king fourth, king third, ace third, king jack third. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. down>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, by the for way, those of you playing at home, that's exactly what partner just, has as grand remembers. Partner, partner would just be like, "I pass." <laughs> no, that's that hand, but. Yeah. Um, but I think when you hold one club, you do think it's going to go like three clubs, so it makes it you know at least if you're fighting for a part score sort of and it at the three level seems like you know but maybe maybe you're yeah. too good maybe you the got... other thing for people to realize is if you bid two arts and it goes three clubs pass pass and you bid three diamonds that when you're three three you always pass it's like, such an it's, important point that, and so that, that, thank you yeah let's learn from it, like they're, they're gonna learn more from that that when i bid two arts and then three diamonds i don't have five hearts i never yep. have five hearts i'll just yeah. bid hearts twice the I idea know, the idea is, yeah, exactly. If you if, if East has five hearts, they're going to insist on hearts. They're not going to bring diamonds into the picture. They know about their major suit fit, so they're not even going to suggest player. diamonds. Yep, you would but, see two hearts and then three hearts in that mode. Would they have five when they see two hearts and three diamonds? We're, we're happy to pass. They're more often than not four or five, but they could be four or four. Great, great stuff. Jump on to 15. All right, here's our suggested auction for number 15. And uh, we just... We have an interesting hand as the South player after one spade past two spades. And I, th I think that's probably the auction that occurred at pretty much every table, unless unless we had some super frisky West players over there trying to find a Michael Skew bid with that garbage. Oh, that's an ugly one. Even if you're if you're <laughs> You learned your lesson the, if you did. 
well, if, if you're, even if you're still on an old fashioned idea of mini Maxi Michaels, which just take this moment in time to try to spread the word in the bridge world that mini Maxi is not a thing anymore. We don't do Michaels with these super mini it. hands. Yeah, Michaels are now. You have at least, at, at least, least a strong enough hand to go to the level that you're forcing to. So yeah, a spade, yeah. two spades, Michaels is a three level overcall. So you really yeah. need to have a, two really good suits before you start Michaelsing to the three level. Uh, it might be a little more aggressive with a one club, two clubs, Michaels, because their partner can support no, you can buy at the suits two at the two level. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but yeah, this is just more on the theme, the south hand of when you have 10 cards in two suits and you have a fit in one of those two suits, That'd your playing hand. strength is just so much more than you think it is. So here, even though you only have 13 points and your partners limited their hand to up to a bad 10, 10 point hand, a 10 point hand that wasn't worth the limit raise, you still, with 23 points as your maximum, you still can easily visualize a game. If all we yep. need is partner to have some points in hearts and spades and clubs and not points in diamonds. Points in diamonds are obviously the worst points because we won't yeah, be able to use them. For sure. Uh, but I mean, so, let's so, let's be honest. No matter what South does, even if they make a twitch, North is going to bid a game because they're at the absolute like maximum end of their end. So so here, if you didn't do anything more constructive with North, it's going to be an easy sell. Unfortunately, you're not going to make this because of no. the hard situation. It's just brutal. But we don't play bridge, or sorry, we don't play results, Gavin. We play bridge, right? So so the results should not matter. It's the fact that we got to the right spot. Yeah, we bought like a bad heartbreak. And, and we bought King Jack fourth of King diamonds. King Jack over of that. diamonds, like that is as yeah. bad as it gets. Even the Ace of Diamonds, we could use to throw away a club from our hand. Yeah, and we might. It's possible that West led a diamond. Sure, in which and case, we get that. We could lead. Anyway. We could play the Jack from the dummy, and yeah. and it'll force the Ace. And it's very important you play the Jack from dummy and not the King because people don't underlead aces lead against against suit contracts. So it, it, if it even then, so the King of Diamonds had some value, but. Uh, it's it's it will be much much easier to make this hand if that king jack of diamonds were anywhere else the yeah. queen of hearts let's say or the yeah, jack okay. of hearts rather <laughs> yeah. jack of hearts or the ace of hearts sold been, yeah yeah <laughs> all right let's take a look at 16. so i mean this auction could have gone a lot of different ways as well gavin this was what we kind of stuck on for a few reasons west opening with two diamonds with honestly a really nice seven card suit is a vulnerability based for us we have red white we're kind of just being a little bit more disciplined with this, but you could have sympathy for three diamond bidders too. Well, it's, it's funny because we just saw that problem earlier with King Queen Seventh of Spades and King Queen Doubleton of Diamonds, where we said it was either one level over call or a three bid, three, but we wouldn't yeah. have preempted two. And because we felt like it was too strong. This one is not too strong yeah, for a two diamond bid. Arm. We do have an extra diamond. But we don't have a maximum in high cards. So partners, it's not going to misrepresent our hand. We would love to have a better suit, having two of the top three or three of the top five. But having queen 10, 9, 8 is still pretty good. It's still yeah. like, even if even if we bought a void in partner's hand in diamonds, we're only going to lose the ace, king, jack because of our such solid spots. If and we don't want to give up diamonds, an opportunity to preempt either. We it just It just feels it's completely wrong with this sort of hand, especially pass, early in the auction. It doesn't feel right to pass. So yeah. that's why we're, we, but it also doesn't feel like it's a three diamond bid because of the suit quality and the vulnerability. I would be perfectly comfortable opening this hand three diamonds if the vulnerability yep, was both of us. different. For yeah. Sure. If, if, if non vol against fall or even equal red, white red. as equal the theme. White? Okay. Red yeah. is where the red, when you're red, you might just go two down yeah, vulnerable. That, and that's and, the and, scary yeah. thing. Exactly. The only time it's relevant is when they when they rate to have a game. And unfortunately, it looks like West preempts partner more than anyone on this hand, right, with their two diamond bid. So luckily, it was only two, but it's a disciplined pass by East, and they're hoping for something dreamy on this hand, aren't they? Well, it's just so important that when you have a singleton in your partner suit and they preempt, no matter how good you think your hand is, it's not it's nearly bad. as good. Yeah, because you, you'll never be able to set up partner suit and return to their hand and so that's so when you have like 17 16 17 points and your partner makes a weak two bid and you have a singleton it's like almost always right to pass and leave yeah. them there that when you start looking for a better place you're not going to improve the contract what's going to happen is you're going to bid your suit and then partner's going to bid three diamonds and you're going to be in just a level higher and you're not going to know and you know for sure with this you're not making three no trump yeah. because if partner's got a good enough diamond suit to run the diamond 
diamond suit, like let's say they have ace, queen, jack, ten, sixth of diamonds, which which they, they really need to have else. that perfect diamond suit in order for us to overtake our king in partner's hand. Because remember, if we cash our king, and this is one of the big problems with having a singleton in partner's suit, is after we've cashed our king, we have See to ya. get over to partner's hand and yep. then enjoy their diamond. So the only king diamond, doubleton, amazing, amazing, huge difference, just, huge difference. Yeah, 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 between having a doubleton versus having a singleton in partner suit. So just keep that, and if that's your big takeaway from all thirty <laughs> of these hands, is that when you have a singleton and your partner opens a weak bid, just your yep. hand is significantly less powerful, especially than in a no trump contract. Uh, and but, and let's let's look at the dream though for East East loves seeing south act right that's what they hope for they hope that they can find their way into one of their best suits or maybe they get a chance to talk again and that's what's happening sorry you you were going to drop something well, in there buddy well i want to just talk about south has a completely normal reopening yeah, perfect. double yep. and and they right you you have you don't have that great of a hand, right? You you only have twelve points, and one of them's wasted. And the jack of diamonds completely useless, but yep. it's but still you you're in diamonds. Yeah, you're in the balancing <laughs> seat, and you have shortness in diamonds. That's the key point. Like it's always partner. Whoever has shortness in the opponent's suits has pressure to get into the bidding because when you have a doubleton diamond like this in south, sometimes your partner's going to have 13 or even 14 points, but they have too many diamonds to bid. So there's right. pressure on the person with the shortness in their suit to act. So it's absolutely 100% to reopen double with the south hand. And you might even reopen double with even a slightly worse hand sure, because you're in the so balancing chair. Yeah. And, 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 and you're, you're white vulnerable. too. So yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're so, stepping on each other. Yeah, yeah, so so you double and it goes past and and north has a normal two spade bid. Sure. That's their that's their pick of the of and the east suits. gets a shot at the auction, right? East yeah, gets a it, little... we felt like east was not was, was should not sell out. You know your opponents have a spade fit because you only yeah. have two of them and your partner probably doesn't have four. So and the king of diamonds isn't fit. the worst card in a three diamond contract. You you don't hate when it actually happens when partner does correctly bid three diamonds with their extra diamond and. And, uh, you, you know, they're unknown extra diamonds. So this is our suggested auction. We we would also suggest that it's unlikely to have gone this way at many of the tables, right? Yeah, if you, <laughs> but, if uh... you pass with the West Hand or if yeah. you open three diamonds, it's all good. If it went three diamonds, pass, pass, I think South still has to Probably, double. Probably, right? It's close. Yep. It's closer there, do. right? Yeah. Yeah, so and now it's at the three level. But, yeah, so you definitely – you're you're a tougher opponent when you open those preamps, those three-level preamps. Sure. Like, so if you do, if you are one of the people out there who are just like ready to go, I'm opening three diamonds, you're annoying to play against. Yeah, we don't like to play you. against. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go to the next table. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's take a look at 17. Once again, Gavin, 17 presents us the same situation we saw with four diamonds, five clubs, and not enough points to be reversing or doing it any other way with the north hand. So we chose to open a diamond. And uh, yes. once again, shortness and hearts kind of dictates we're likely to see a heart, and that's exactly what we see. And then we're able to bid clubs, and and South has an interesting choice. We just don't want, we don't want the audience to think these guys just don't understand what's going on. Why are they opening their second? Their, their it's shorter... the longest suit, dummies. So you open yeah. your longest suit. <laughs> but it just happened to happen a few times in this set that it was a recurring theme where we just had to plan our rebid. We really it just shows you how much we hate opening one of a minor and rebidding that minor one club, one heart, two clubs with only a five card suit. We yeah. dislike that so much. And just to touch on it for a second, why um, when you rebid two clubs. Uh, your partner's expecting six of them. Yep. And when you're facing a six card club suit, your prospect of making three no Trump is much better because you're, you're really, you're going to have a source of tricks of a six card yep. club suit. So partner's going to push for game opposite and that partner looking at rebid. King small of that suit. Like we were talking about the last hand where they know, I mean, that looks a lot juicier and it's not as juicy as they think. Yeah. When they're only five facing cards. a five card suit, it's, there's just not that source of tricks. So we really yeah. try not to rebid two of our minor with only five. It's just a, a good. And this, this is not ideal. It's preparing for a, likely bad situation right it's preparing for a bad rebid and that's exactly what we get it would be interesting if it went a diamond a spade would you raise the two spades with the north hand there yeah I, I i would i'm willing to raise on three card support um, you always would if you opened a club like that would be like a no-brainer but if you open a diamond would you choose to go you know that's the one question i had here 
Yeah, I, I definitely I definitely like it. I, I, I like raising with three card support. I actually don't love it with the ace king jack of spades and the the because you are taking roughs in your hand when the yeah. opponents bid uh yeah, when they when the when the opponents lead hearts and uh, multiple times. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. And and then the auction is just gonna end there, right? The South actually has a, a nice invitational hand, even though it's an ugly invitational hand, it's eleven. They don't want to just sell out because two clubs could be up to about seventeen points. So they have to do something here. And North just decides to end that um, right at that level there. That seems about right. Maybe people play no trump on this hand possibly, Gavin? What do you think? Well, South couldn't really bid to no trump because they don't have spades stopped. They, yeah. Or, or right, it, usually when you bid three suits, you really want to bid. You you want to have a stopper in the fourth suit before you bid three no trump. So so South's hands were kind of tied. They really had only one way to constructively invite. And North has the stoppers in the fourth suit, so that part was great. But they do only have. 13 points and they know their partner's got 11 it's close with the north hand whether you're supposed to bid three no trump or pass three clubs yeah. I, if you Very bid close. three no trump thinking hey i've got three stoppers in the last suit uh it's reasonable and yeah. actually it wouldn't have worked out terribly for you on you you or you have th like if they do lead a spade if they it find their hearts it's probably bad at some point but they're probably not going to find that right away right they're probably starting with a spade lead if yeah. north bids three no trump and and then you can take that losing club finesse and you're already up to four clubs three, three spades, spades and, a diamond. and the and the ace <laughs> of diamonds so really the opponents can beat you uh Hard. They, but basically they'll have to find a heart shift at some point. So you, you'll, the, the, there's, there's a ninth trick available for North South in diamonds by double they have finessing. to let East in first. And if East, when East gets in with that King of Diamonds, if they can find that Jack of Heart shift through the, then the defense can come away with the King of Clubs, the King of Diamonds and the Jack 10 of Hearts for one trick and the ace king hearts for five so a tough beat if you did bid three no and again you know aggressive yeah. bidding makes the opponents have to defend well so it's exactly. it, it, it can work in your favor to be aggressive all right let's take a look at number 18 next three to go in this set so board 18 gives us a rule of 15 for the north player to start this hand gavin it goes uh three passes most likely i don't although west in third chair uh might choose to open in some seats right gavin they might open a club uh, yeah, we're, it's we're it's okay with... to open, but you really have garbage over here. No, if you no, get past if you get tight. passed out with the West Hand, I would feel pretty comfortable that that's okay. So that's why I'm we we chose pass on the on the, uh, the suggested auction. Uh, I will say that, as I mentioned earlier, for me when I open light in third chair, I really like to have a good suit in the suit I'm opening, so that at least or my partner I be knows. Opening a major, just give me some preemptive taking up some space. Yeah. Exactly, a club does nothing to the opponents. It's just gonna tell them, hey, I've got some points. But unless you have good clubs, I'm, if I had like ace king jack fourth of clubs, and I know I want my partner to lead a club, I'm always willing to open light in third chair. This hand. I don't really you have any reason to lead. point my partner to clubs. So, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, exactly. So I, I, that's why we decided to pass in North. Just and it's a good point. You're not upset if it gets passed out in the situations with this sort of hand. So, yeah, and North has just, you know, you, North has an opening hand in almost any seat, but you can double check with very short spades. You might pass in these situations because you're trying to just go go plus zero if, if you don't have spades. But here... I'm it's usually looking for any excuse to open, and this this hands an automatic opening bid. But like you said, the rule of fifteen, which is adding your spades to your points. So here we have we have how many points? We have thirteen, 13 high and cards three. And We're three spades, well, so. that's yeah. sixteen. So that's all you needed to do is to add up to fifteen, and it's worth an opening bid. But sometimes I'll even open if I don't qualify for the rule of fifteen. As long I just need one of my rules, any yeah. of my <laughs> rules. Yeah, rule of twenty, rule of. And if you 15. can invent one on the spot that makes yeah, sense, it's good. I, I, it's good. I like <laughs> to open the bid. I don't like passing out hands. We paid well, an especially in, in, in robot tournaments, I refuse. I will not do yeah. it. So I think yeah. that's pretty normal. But it, it actually opens up a nice auction because, honestly, East has the perfect shape for a double. It's close with their values, but the shape get, got us over the edge here because we're a passed hand as well. Yeah, the beautiful thing is we're a passed hand. So yeah. partner's not going to just jump to game. Right, exactly. partner didn't open yeah. in third chair. So we know we're just... both fast hands. In fact, so the worst right. case is, uh, you know, we're some sort of invitational hand. So the word, the the thing is that we want to compete, right? Especially yeah. like they they've made the mistake of opening in fourth chair. We uh, we can see that there's a really good chance we have a fit in yeah. in some suit, and we're going to be able to outcompete their club suit. So I love double with this hand, even if sometimes my opponents are going to be 
redouble and they're going to double us for sure. penalty. It yeah, could work out badly, but a match points is a bitter we're game. We're all so white, right? Again, non-ball. we're non-vulnerable. Exactly. You know, the risk level is so much lower. And then it just goes a normal heart bid. West clearly wants to get in this auction with a spade. And they, they don't oh, yeah. have to do so aggressively. They don't have to jump around. They know they're not making a game either because East is a past hand. So it's just a competitive auction here. I will say if West bid two spades just to eat up room, it's not not terrible. You have 11 yeah, points. Sure. So it's like if yeah, you jumped totally. to two spades, honestly, that would have probably – that could easily have, have bought you the, the, the South hand. South has a spades. way tougher choice when it jumps back to them at that point because here – it, can you explain the two clubs? Sure. Is so, so this this is this is interesting. This is only really valid for people who play support doubles. So, if you play support doubles, this is the the situation that it would occur when the opening bidder North it goes open to club and their partner bids the suit at the one level, which could be as few as four cards. When when South bid one heart, it was four or more hearts, yep. and the third hand or fourth hand intervenes when West bids a spade. North a double by North would promise three cards support yep. so wow. when when north passes one spade they deny three card heart support so when it comes past pass back to south south has a run of the mill eight count they don't have they now know that they don't have a heart fit but if they stop and and really take stock of what partner's distribution is if the opponents have what sounds like an eight card spade fit and partner only that means partner has a, at most three spades Yep. Uh, and they have at most two hearts partner didn't support double so that they have at most two hearts so that that's five cards that means that they have eight cards in the minors and when we are four four in the minors at least in north america we're taught regardless of our stoop quality quality we're always opening a diamond with four four in the minors so the fact that partner has eight cards in the minors and we know that they must be and they've opened eight. a club they, they, they have at least eight in the minors. We know that they ha- have three diamonds and five clubs at least. So we know they actually have a five card club suit. So this is a rare, Beautiful unique deduction. opportunity yeah. where South could realize, hey, I know I only have three clubs and my partner's only opened a club, which normally only has three, but they could work it all out that part. Hey, partner actually must have five clubs. And this is a law of total tricks. And I guess that means we owe Larry Cohen about $3 for mentioning that there also. So that checks. He definitely would be absolute about not letting our opponents play a contract at a level that they have enough trumps for. So he wouldn't be comfortable defending two. And East does the same thing, by the way. East on this end says, okay, I know we have a spade fit partner has shown that. And West doesn't necessarily know, right? East could still have three spades, four hearts, something like that. So East confirms that fit. But now North deduces that South was using the law of total tricks possibly and competes to the three level. We weren't sure if that was going to happen here, but we, we popped it in there. As a, yeah, it's just so important. Action. We're not letting the opponents play in an eight card fit at the two level when yeah. we have a viable suit to compete to on this Excuse me. On this hand, uh, East West was going to make spades easily for one ten. I think they, they, were, yeah. they were maybe not easily. You got well, two diamonds, two hearts, a club, and a couple diamonds. Probably. Yeah, two hearts, two diamonds, and a club. Mm-hmm. They, they might you might be able to squeeze them down in one in, in two spades by making the Ace King Jack Nine of Spades rough a couple times uh, <laughs> to promote that Queen of Hearts. So it's possible sure. that you could, or even in fact. North might, on on a perfect day, defending spades, be able to go king of hearts, ten of hearts over to the ace, and get a heart over rough. But interestingly, uh, they could you could throw a diamond on that trick because the nine eight of hearts would be good. So it's going to be an interesting hand in two spades. But north south in three clubs, actually, uh, it's going to be an easy make for them because with everything sitting well, you're going to lose two spades. Uh, but the ace queen of diamonds are on sides. So you're only going to lose one diamond, and, and you know and where you know where the queen of clubs is because of the takeout double. It really t- tells you how there to go. play the hand. You know how who to finesse for the queen of clubs. Yeah. So you you should be able to make three clubs. If you weren't making three clubs, you uh, they were certainly making two spades for sure. All right, very cool stuff on board 18. Let's go with 19 and 20 next. Let's check it out. All right, board 19, another. Super competitive auction, actually. Uh, North South gets to find their spade fit, and that is not to East's uh, happy happy face. There, they have a, a really nice hand that they want to play, but they can't do much more than they did in this one. Hey, bud. Yeah, you, you again. It's another one where I can imagine people might fall in love with their hand just because of how 
great the heart suit is. It, this heart suit plays well, even if Barner has none of them, you're yep. still going to have no problem drawing trumps. So East has a solid seven trick hand in, in hearts. The uh, but scary. Yeah, it's the vulnerability that really talked us out of bidding a third time. Uh, you overcall one heart for sure. That was a clear cut overcall. Yep. And the South's negative double shows exactly, exactly four. four spades. Never more because we could bid one spade promising five. And West had nothing, uh, so they passed. And North had a minimum with four spades. This is actually an interesting spot where jumping to two spades doesn't really wouldn't really show that much better of a hand than one spade. One spade really shows a weakish hand with four card support. Yeah, two would be even. like I have a full opener, not yeah. enough for three essentially. But and North is close. If you jump to yeah. two spades with this hand, it's okay. You do have the Jack Ten Nine of Spades are nice cards. Everything about the hand's decent. So if you yeah, bid two spades, rate to be terrible either. So. And if you did bid two spades with the North hand, now East is going to feel like I, I haven't done my hand justice and they would have bid three hearts. So there was really was a competitive advantage to North bidding two spades. You would have induced a three heart bid from East and three hearts is just going to be, uh, you're gonna, East is going to lose all the tricks that they think they're going to lose. Yeah. They have a club loser, three, three diamond diamonds. losers and the ace king of hearts. So they will go two down vulnerable. Ooh, they if can... they they can get oh no said so they have all three diamond losers i was gonna say they yeah. might get a rup but no that they're they're taking all three losers instead <laughs> right and so 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 if north bid two spades you'll see that that's why two spades is more just uh i have four spades and a minute and and like a decent opening better bid. than a better than my minimums if you do have a huge hand like 16 to 18 it's just back to normal you jump to yeah, three spades same. to show 16 to 18 exactly so but after it went two hearts two spades pass pass now east uh, you're yeah. You know, you're, 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 you've already you can't said you blame them for cards. bidding, but it's, yeah, I can know. understand it if you bid, but, but, but it's, you, uh, you gave it two polls and partner said no dice, right? So in this case, when you're vulnerable, vulnerable well, yeah, white, vulnerable, you probably would, right? You yeah. would for sure, because yeah. you don't mind going two down and with such good heart interiors, it's very unlikely you're going to get doubled. Yeah. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's take a look at the last chance to excel in this set board 20. Another fine competitive auction to look at here. Uh, a diamond opening bid is perfectly automatic. The hard overcall, same. Uh, no double there. You're five four in the majors. It's, Obviously, you don't have the third suit. There's so. two two major problems, and yeah. one is when partner bids two clubs, you're really unhappy. But also, when you make your takeout double, you kind of lose Should your be. five card hard suit. You won't find a five three hard fit when you make a takeout double. We we really anti takeout doubles with five card majors. Yes, That's big like, time. That is something, yeah. yeah, you you might see an occasion once in a blue moon that might be right but that's usually after a preemptive bid and you don't have a lot of room left right the only time you're doing that uh so now it goes two clubs and south has a normal two heart raise and west just bids three clubs right just a normal hey i'm supporting your suit and i don't <laughs> certainly i don't mean you, you don't want to be doing a two no trump with this hand no, you 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 do want to show your fit. So two clubs, even even if you're playing two over one game forcing, uh, once the opponent's over call, two clubs just shows ten, ten or more plus, points yeah. and five or more clubs. So, but when it goes two hearts, it's it's critical that West competes when they have a fit because if you pass two hearts. It might go all past. It wouldn't have on this hand. On this hand, yeah. had West passed, East would have probably competed to the three diamonds. diamonds. Uh, but but it's possible if you take one of East's diamonds and make it a spade, they're done. They're not going to compete. And we have an eight-card fit. And just, again, that the, the law of total tricks are... are we we don't want to let them play two hearts when they have an eight-card fit. When they have an eight-card fit and we have we, and we have an eight-card fit, letting them play two hearts is not going to be the, the right approach. So... It's not a pre-balancing thing, but it's the same idea, right? We're, 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 we don't want to put partner in a situation where they can't balance because they're deprived of the information of us having this club fit, right? So, right. so that's the super important part of this. And now when we bid three clubs, first of all, South has no business competing. They have yep. a balanced hand that has absolutely no interest. They, they, they've they showed their six to nine points. They have exactly yep. what they said they had. So they South isn't that. considering it. Yep. It turns out that competing to three hearts is actually the winner with the North-South <laughs> cards because you only are going to lose two diamonds, one spade club. Spade finesse is on. Yeah, one heart. So you only have four losers because the spade finesse is on. So North-South is actually entitled to 140. Uh, and East-West, you're going to – East-West loses two spades, one heart, and one club. So it's they were going to make clubs. three clubs. So so it was definitely right. The only person who might have competed was North. And it's it's these are tough spots. Usually when you're competing at the three level, you're Especially doing so red. 
You're doing so because you have extra distribution. That ninth trump is usually the thing you're looking for. North doesn't have that. What makes this hand make three is the the double fit and the yeah, fact that all of our points are in our two suits. Now, North does know that. And both right? hands, they, by the way. And both not hands, just all of our so, points. Yeah, yeah. Right. If any of our points were in the, in one of the – any three more points were in diamonds or clubs, it would have been it's definitely hopeless. correct. <laughs> we wouldn't be making three, and they wouldn't be making three. Uh, good so, point. So, so, so it's really important that we don't overcompete. It's just – it turned out on this hand that our hands fit beautifully. North could see that. I would say that North does see that – they, all of their they, they have nice points in their long suits so that is definitely something that they make them might make them consider but i still think that had north bid three spades or three hearts rather they they would have gotten been getting a little bit lucky to buy the ace of spades and the king of hearts as opposed to like the ace of diamonds and the king of hearts where where now it's going to be so much more difficult to set up our spades if we don't have the ace of spades so yeah so i i, I think it's it was possible if you did it i think it, could, it was it was smart in some yeah, ways, but but you're you, getting a, a little lucky. But I, as I said, we we don't play uh, results. We play bridge, and here I just think bridge decision wise, you 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 would bail out at this level with the North South yeah. cards. You would think most of the time. But if you did bid, congrats, you got a really nice score if you made that. And that's it for this set, Gavin. That is eleven through twenty in the books. Hope you enjoyed this one. One set left to go, twenty-one to thirty, and we'll tie it all off and give you guys some chances to practice these hands yourself as well. So stay tuned for that, Gavin. I'll see you in the next one, buddy.